Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna to show you my $2,500 Acorns account. Today I'm gonna to show you how much you can actually save just by investing your pocket change. I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Let's get into it. Welcome back YouTube. Let's go ahead and dive into my Acorns account. Right now, I'm currently sitting at $2,494.12. So today, I'm going to explain to you how I got my account just a little under $2,500 in this video. If we scroll back and look at my performance details before we go over everything on how I got my account this high, if we go to the one mark chart, I had a bit of a recovery since the beer virus news i'm up 465 dollars and 64 cents the last month up 22.84 percent if we look at the last six months you could tell when the news had came out because you receive a dramatic drop okay there it goes at one point i had my account to 2800 dollars two thousand eight hundred and forty dollars and 25 cents and after the news came out and went all the way down the lowest is one thousand nine hundred and eleven dollars and 41 cents so the last year if we look at my all-time chart i'm down 251 dollars and three cents a little under nine percent but if we continue on this one more chart and the market continues to recover uh i could see me breaking even very very soon now let me show you guys how investing my pocket change and my roundups actually added up to 2500 dollars in a little over a year. So if we scroll up to invest in your future, my portfolio is set on aggressive, okay? So there's five different investing styles that you can do on Acorns. There's conservative, where they pretty much um, invest 20% in short-term corporate bonds, government bonds, more government bonds, and more government bonds. So. Uh, conservative so it's a little bit too conservative for me in fact the aggressive profile that I'm on is still a little conservative for my liking but this is aggressive according to acorns so let's go through um, mildly conservative right quick they invest 24% into large company stocks 4% into small company stocks 4% into real estate stocks 30% um, into government bonds 30% into corporate bonds and 8% into large company stocks. So um, this one is still investing in, bond, in bonds, but they added real estate uh, stocks to their portfolio in large company and small company stocks. If we move on to moderate, it's the same thing, but the percentage change, it go from 29%, 10%, 3%, 6% in real estate stocks now, 20% on government bonds, and 20% on corporate bonds. Now, once you move up to moderately aggressive, now, you get 38% in large company stocks, 14 in small company stocks, 4% in emerging market stocks, 8% in real estate stocks, 10% in bonds, and 10% in corporate bonds. Now, the one that I am on aggressive, it eliminates bonds completely and it goes to 40% large company stocks, small company stocks is 20%, 10% emerging market stocks, 10% real estate stocks, and 20% uh, large company stocks. So you're wondering, what did they mean by large company stocks? Well, if you click on large company stocks, it shows the ones that they invest in. Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, JP Morgan, and Berkshire Hathaway, okay? So this is uh, around every 40 cents of every one of my dollars that I invest into um, Acorns. This is where it, it goes into my large company stock portfolio that is on Acorns. Small company stocks is um these six companies right here the, and these six companies right here are pretty much super safe companies uh 20 of every one of my dollar goes into these six companies okay if we go into emerging market stocks these six are also safe uh alibaba group is probably taking a hit uh due to that being over in china and the news pop up uh so 10 percent of every one of my, my dollars uh, goes into emerging market stocks real estate stocks um public storage i like that one uh equinox i like that one 
and hotels. Hotels are probably taking a big hit right now. This is probably why our real estate stocks aren't doing real good right now, but 10% or 10 cents is of every one of my dollars goes into real estate stocks. And then large company stocks, um, Toyota is probably taking a hit, uh, Samsung is probably taking a hit, but Samsung is constantly coming out with new technology. I think they just had a breakthrough in some battery uh, technology that they're developing. So this is also a good holding, 20% or 20 cents of every dollar that I invest goes right back into these companies. Okay, so if we back out and we look at my roundup settings, this is uh, how I'm actually growing my portfolio the fastest is that um, I have it set on times two. So every dime that gets invested from my pocket chain, let's say if I bought something for 90 cents, I'll round it up to the nearest dollar and invest 10 cents back into Acorns. But since I have it on times two, it won't just invest 10 cents, but it invests 20 cents into Acorns. So you can have it on times two, times three, or times 10. If you have it on times two, times three, times 10, you, you will grow your account even faster and your small acorn will grow into a gigantic oak tree in no time, okay? Right now I have one link card to it. I probably need to link my other credit card to it so I could grow it even faster. Um, what also I add a little boost to my account would be uh, my recurring. Every Friday I invest $10 into acorns and you can set any amount the minimum is $5 and you can set when, you can set it every day, every week, or every month. I have it set on every Friday, so that's an extra $40 every single month that I'm investing into Acorns. But once again, I think I'm growing my account the fastest through my roundups. If we take a look at my roundups, the total number of roundups that I have is 2,087 roundups. So I guess I swiped my card 2,087 times since I started my Acorns account. So that's the number of times uh, of roundups I had invested into Acorns. So it's a pretty good number and it shows I'm around uh, $2,500 in my Acorns account. At the highest I've been at was $2,800. Amount investing from my roundups was $1,727.41. And then the rest is from my um, $10 roundups on Fridays. So um, once again, that has been the most I have invested into Acorns was just using my roundups and the times two. And when I first started Acorns, I didn't have it on times two, I just had it on times one. Uh, so about six to eight months ago, I switched it over to times two, which uh, grew my Acorns account uh, tremendously fast. Now, if you wanna get in Acorns and have a one-time investment of a large account so they can start investing, you can invest five, 25, 50 or $100 or enter your own amount. If you want to enter $500 one time into Acorns, let them invest uh, those percentages into their different accounts that they invest into. You can do it that way if you don't want to link your card and you just want to get your feet wet by investing to the stock market right now. That's one way to do it. But once again, Acorn is, is really best when they use their roundups to invest into the stock market. That's, that's the best way that I use Acorns. Okay, so we take a look at the last 30 days. Um, my recurring was $40, that's the $10 every Friday. Um, you could tell that I'm not able, since the government has shut down, the United States has shut down, I'm not able to go out to the stores and swipe my car or anything. So I'm mostly buying stuff through um, Netflix, Hulu, renting movies, are going on Amazon online and shopping online. So my roundups this month was $31.88. That's with my times two. And then dividends that I got uh, paid out from the uh, companies that's in my holdings on Acorns is $2.16. And then I told a couple of my friends about Acorns and they signed up, I think two people signed up, uh, which is $5 per person. So I got an extra $10 from my referrals. So in the last 30 days, uh, $84.04 has been invested into Acorns, and it's a good time for that amount of money to be invested into that market because everything is on sale right now, and once the market recovers, I can see my account recovering pretty quickly. As long as I constantly continue to invest into the stock market and don't be afraid to pull out. All right, guys, if we take a look at my potential right now, uh, in order for me to reach $100,000, it'll, it'll be around the age of 62 if I continue at this path. 
Um, I'm thinking about adding my other credit card, so this will uh, be cut down, I want to say, even quicker once I add my other credit card. So they'll start uh, rounding up my um, change from every time I swipe that card. And then um, in a year or two, I'm going to change it from times two to times three in my Acorns account so that I could grow even faster. So the little bitty Acorn could grow up to be a very, very big oak tree. And once I hit $100,000, this uh, whole series is around me um, growing my Acorns account from $0 all the way up to $100,000. So if you want to stay, stick around for this journey of me growing from zero to $100,000, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Really helps out this YouTube channel a lot. So yeah, guys, there you go. That is my $2,500 Acorns account. Um, I did take a hit um, because of the beer news that everyone knows that we really can't talk about on YouTube. But yeah, if you guys wanna give Acorn a shot, and start investing to the stock market while the prices are somewhat moderately low. Um, the link to my acorns down is in the description. If you sign up, you get a free $5. I get a free $5. And if you tell your friends about it right now, acorns is running a special to where if you get three friends to sign up, that add an extra $150 into your account. So this will be a great way to start investing with your stimulus checks to get extra free money by just clicking the link down in the description, sign it up and get your friends to sign up and you get a very kickstart. Once the uh, the world is open back up, you could go outside and telling everybody that you are now an investor. But other than that, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.